really special cigar tonight. This is the uh, Putin Young Overlord. Every cigar that he puts out goes a pro part of the proceeds go to uh, help veteran causes, uh, suicide prevention and whatnot. All of his cigars are military themed. This one is a Churchill in Overlord. Okay, so on the I'm getting like cedar on this. So let's hope that it's a kind of woodsy cigar. It's beautifully made, Connecticut wrapper, probably from Ecuador, where most of it comes from these days. All right, I'm going to toast it up, fire it up, and then we'll talk about it. Beautiful cigar, absolutely beautiful. And had I known about this, this was originally uh, done for the 75th anniversary of D-Day. So uh, I'm going to have to go back tomorrow and buy a few of these. Specifically for some friends, Tim Mace and uh, Robert Abels, you know. Both of them were uh, air assault school instructors with me when we were in the Pathfinder Company of uh, the 101st. All right, let's fire it up. Yep, cedar. That's what I'm getting right off the bat. Nice amount of cedar. Short finish, non-lingering. No spice, just some leather and a lot of cedar. Cedar. Oh, that's good through the retrohale. Boy, more cedar just pops right through your nasal cavities. All right, so I'm going to set down that beautiful cigar and pick up the beer that I'm drinking tonight, which is Line Creek Brewing Company First Crush IPA. This is a hazy IPA, and uh, it comes in at, let's see if it tells me, 6.3% alcohol with just 36 IBUs. That's not much of an IPA. Usually IPAs are 50 plus. All right, so it is hazy in color. Grapefruit. That's what I'm getting. Big time grapefruit. Let's take a pull. Very pleasant. Not in your face grapefruit, but it does have citrus. All right, back to that beautiful cigar, the Hooten Young Overlord in Churchill. Beautiful, generous output of smoke. And it says right on the wrapper, the small band Overlord, 75 years. So let me see if I can get that up there for you. Just a beautifully made cigar. So uh, Tim Mace <clears throat> and uh, Robert Abels, uh, definitely I'll pick up a couple more of these and uh, send you each one. Definitely in time for this year's D-Day celebration. So maybe that's what we'll do. I'll send out those cigars to my buddies and uh, we can all fire them up on uh, June 6th. Tastes more than 36 IBU to me. I mean, that, that's hardly anything on the IBU scale, the bitterness scale. I mean, I've drank IB, IPAs with 100 IBUs. Now, granted, I couldn't drink much of it, but uh, I did. If you're into IPAs, the one to get is Liberty Ale. And that's by Anchor Brewing, because they were brewing that since 1975, I believe. And um, 
that's as close to an original IPA as you're going to get. It's not exuberantly hopped, but it is highly hopped, like an IBU of 45 or 50. But it's a beautiful golden color, and that's the style of IPAs that used to be back in the uh, 17, 1800s. All right, here we go. I like the simple band. H.Y. Hooten Young. Okay, no spice. A very creamy, light textured smoke. Once again, just exceptionally made. I don't know who makes this for Mr. Hooten Young. I'll look it up. But uh, as far as flavor goes, it's very light, mild, not overly mild, but a definitely mm, mild medium. The flavors are light. The smoke is generous. <clears throat> and through the retro hail, it is just amazing. All right, we'll go back to the beer now. Lime Creek Brewing out of Peachtree, Georgia. Hmm. Still trying to make up my mind whether or not I like that uh, IPA, First Crush IPA. But I am definitely enjoying this cigar. Burning nice and slow. We're almost 10 minutes in. And we have that stack of dimes going on. I look up at the uh, front of the ash. It's not falling apart. It's not splitting. So it is very nicely made. This is a Nicaraguan filler. With an Ecuadorian uh, Connecticut wrapper, I believe it was. And it's exceptionally mild. Doesn't mean it's not in my wheelhouse. This is a good good cigar. At this burn rate, this cigar is going to take an hour to smoke. <clears throat> and I usually smoke them a little on the fast side. <clears throat> but that is burning really nice and really slow. See, there's no plumes of smoke coming off of it. There's a light amount of smoke coming off of it. But as far as the intake, generous smoke out there. Super nice, super mild. All right, so we're going to call this at the 8 minute and 30 second mark. If you have a chance to try these cigars, do so, because they do support veterans with suicide prevention and some other uh, issues. And uh, like I said, I enjoy this. I, I cannot tell you how much I paid for this, uh, because I didn't buy it at F&M. I bought it at Sweetbriar, <laughs> and Georgia prices are always a little bit more expensive. But uh, this was not cheap by any means. It had to be about 15 And... What else am I going to tell you about this? Oh, on a scale of 1 to 5, 4.5. 4 4.5, definitely. I would buy it again. Okay. I'm really liking that. The more I smoke it, the more I like it. Lots of wood, cedar, creamy smoke, short on the finish. If you like your cigars mild... This is one of them. All right, that's it. Good night.